I knew, I knew it would happen. You and Shannon were able to talk and, and, and figure it out. And that happened, right. I think, yesterday, if I'm not mistaken. Can you kind of, you don't have to tell us what it was about, but just how right. that came about and, and where you guys are at now? Well, you know, we at the end of the day, this is all entertainment. You know, that's what this is. We're not selling drugs. We're not, uh, we're not in the underworld. So there's some guidelines and rules to the business that we're in. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, we got families, we got kids and stuff like that. So sometimes we can get out of line, man. You know, and me personally, you know, I can get out of line a little bit. Sometimes, well, I said some stuff that I did. Some of the stuff I shouldn't have said. Some of the stuff was good. It was funny. Everybody was laughing. But then when I went back and looked at it, I said, yeah, I, I kind of crossed the line a little bit. But when you go across the line, you're already there. So I just didn't expect... Uh, I just didn't expect the brother to get so mad about it, you know? And then, like, I just was wondering why, you know what I mean? You got singled out. That he, and then, you know, he told me. He was like, you know what, Mike, I'm going to be honest with you. It was because it was you. Mm -hmm. He said, because guess what? You. These people out here, they'll do what you tell them to do. You know, so when he, I felt bad about it. And I, I wanted to meet up with him and personally look him in the face and tell him that I was sorry. Because I've been, I've been best anybody. Period. You're right. On myself. Got to. Got to be able to laugh at yourself. If, if I go on camera, if I'm doing stand, that's what I told him, too. But I if said, they jokes, why you got to apologize if they jokes? Well, I mean, you know, like I said, man, I, it, wasn't, it, wasn't, it, wasn't, uh, it wasn't Shucky Ducky telling the yeah. joke. I wanted to show these kids that guess what? No matter how I felt about him and how he felt about me, that guess what? This don't have to end in violence. And I'm not about to prove myself to nobody, nobody, Amen. and mess what I worked so hard for to show somebody I'm a real nigga. Nobody's, nobody's too big to be talked about, though. You did the right thing, but everybody can be talked about. I not so, talk about everybody. Yeah, so, I've talked about, I'm talking about, yeah, I have talked I about apologize. everybody. I'm serious. I mean, I talked about Shaq straight in his face. I didn't call him Shrek and all kinds. He just be laughing. <laughs> Crying, laughing. I'm thinking that he going to laugh, too. You only get you only get mad like that when there's some, some truth to it, dog. Mm. That's just how I feel. <laughs> Speaking of, uh, I'm glad you guys got to talk <laughs> and, and, and clear your piece up. But, uh... Yo, yo, it's Big Ant the Spokesman, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in, and I knew as soon as this video hit my timeline today, and I seen it while I was editing the video earlier, that this conversation would have to come up about Mike Epps and Shannon Sharp last little pressure issue they had where they eventually resolved it, but it got to a point online where they was talking about linking up and getting active during All-Star Weekend out there and everything like that. But as you heard Mike Epps say, hey bro, we grown, we both got families. I wanted to show the kids the right way to do it. And he took some accountability like, hey, when I sat back and watched it, it was jokes. But he said, hey, I am a nigga that crossed the line and everything like that. And they talked about a lot more. And I had a link in the description where you can watch that in full at on the All The Smoke podcast with Steven Jackson and Matt Barnes. But as you can see right there, Steven Jackson had a whole, 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 whole different type of energy when Shannon and Sharp name came up. And they started the interview off and got right to what everybody wanted to know. Now, this interview went down All-Star Weekend the day after. So this was last month, earlier in the month. So the pressure was still going on. For people that don't know, Steven Jackson had prior issues with Shannon Sharp. He claims that he hated on him before. And this came after the Cat Williams interview where he was like, hey, you didn't do that right. You didn't pull back. You sit up there, was being messy, instigating, and then stop him from talking about people. With if Cat was telling the truth or not. Cat is my homeboy. Cat is me and Matt homeboy. That's our homeboy. We didn't, we went on relationship with him. And on all the smoke, we don't want, as much as we love Cat, we love to have Cat Williams on the show, but we wouldn't want no show like that. Because we got relationships with our guests. And we ain't cloud chasing. If y'all notice, we ain't doing no clown on our show. 
We ain't doing no dumb shit, dancing around, doing no clown. Shit. We ain't uh doing corny people. Like we ain't we ain't clout chasing. We ain't bringing people on to demean people. We ain't doing none of that because we got relationships with our guests. And y'all wonder why we get the guests we get because we not we not doing shit. clicks. As an interviewer, you have to know how how to pull back because. If you're willing to just let somebody come on your show and disrespect everybody without pulling back at all, that shows that you just like Noriega when Noriega had uh, Kanye on his show. You know that he's going to say something crazy, but you still let him go on and not pulling him back. So Shannon has no relationship with his guests. No relationship because he didn't take up for now one of them. You know what I'm saying? And to be honest, I'm not surprised. Loki hated on us. My people never lie to me. It's people that I love that I talk to every day. That's in these in these in these offices. He hated on me. He tried to hate on me and Matt with our DraftKings deal. He tried to hate on Wayne. He tried to hate on Prime. That's just the truth, bro. But that but the show goes to show. You might be from the country, but that don't mean you're from the hood. Yeah. That had so much to say, and and it's only because of jealousy. Because I guarantee you, if 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 Cat was on their podcast mm -hmm. and did exactly what he did on my podcast, right? They would have never said what they're saying. Mm. Oh, he let no. That was the decision that I had to make in a split second, Ocho. Right. I know a guy that he got so much, he always has something to say. Right. Now, this is the same guy. You know what? I ain't gonna even no. Look here. Obviously, obviously, of uh, 27 million people. events that don't get watched by 27 million. Mm -hmm. That's what you're mad about. You're not mad about I didn't cut this right. man off. You're yeah. not mad about that. Oh, mm -hmm. those are your boys and you let them talk about your boys. That's not what y'all mad about. That's not what you're mad about. Oh, yeah. you're not even a journalist. He could have got so much meat off the bone. You're not mad about that. 27 million people to the right now. Mm. My part, my subscribers on Club Shay Shay jumped up 500,000. Mm. That's what you're mad about. You mad about now all of a sudden my IG. Now, I'm over three He said it's sharper and hated on him prior and everything like that behind the scenes. I don't know what was what. Shannon Sharp said, hey, bro, you just mad because I'm turned up. I'm going crazy and everything in that nature. But you see that uh, Steven Jackson still held on to that energy for this interview right here. Because let's keep it a thousand, no matter how you feel about Shannon Sharp, whether you feel like he comes off a certain way or being zesty or not or anything like that. If you continue to call a nigga that after he say he ain't that, you violating him. You disrespecting him. You can have your opinion about a nigga, but if he say, hey, nigga, I ain't that, I ain't moving that way, you can say what you want to say. But you can't tell a man because that is disrespecting him to the highest level. And people want to try to substitute this, don't feel a way about it, don't respond to it if it ain't true. Hey, bro, you don't let nobody sit back and play with your situation if you a stomp die nigga, dog. You supposed to always get that cleared up. Now, we are in the world where you can play the chess game and say the internet want me to respond and address things like that. But, bro, niggas throw these jackets on niggas without no proof at time, and these things linger around on people forever. We in that type of time, dog, where you got to clear your name up because the internet will run with it. It grow legs, and they'll try to make a lie be your truth. But you can't give them the things to actually run with that as well. But even if people assume it, you got to shoot it down, bro, because they'll drive these things on you. A lot of people that lost money because of fake narratives. A lot of people that lost relationships because of fake narratives. A lot of people that lost a lot of big things because of fake narratives get built up on them out here. And they grow legs and they wait too long to address it. And so far, uh, if you go so long of not addressing it, and it's not documented that you addressed it, the truth can start becoming a lot for people. And we are in this world where the truth is now does not matter. It's about what is more entertaining or what the people want to run with, what they see is better for their conversation, what seems more interesting. And we see that go on more and more every day. We see niggas jump out here with all type of lies, stories, lawsuits, stuff that can easily be debunked. But people will follow these, co even conspiracy theories online. People will watch these things that have no way of being true, any type of factual type of evidence or nothing, but because the lie is more entertaining, they gonna follow it. Tell me what y'all think. We'll see what happened. Steven Jackson, he be on his little wave, how he wanna move with things, do what y'all do. Shannon Sharp is turned all the way up right now, so it don't even matter. Both of these niggas are successful millionaires, athletes, both got platforms. They just gonna pop their stuff online. We are here for this type of activity because 
we don't want it to get in the streets or nothing like that. And that's what Mike Epps is pushing. And I don't know. They'll work it out. Tell me what y'all think. We got more coming, more videos. I'll let 1,000 for shit. So stay on your pivot.